This is getting weird now, actually. Why are you trying to make yourself so wide? <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like sleeping next to a barrel. <laughs> this is amazing. I'm absolutely loving it. Hello and welcome to a challenge video with a difference because this week our friends at Omaze are giving you guys the chance to win a vintage VW bus to help raise money for the Jake Owen Foundation. Which is why we're here. It's 3 a.m. and they've asked us to drive from London to Wolfsburg to the VW Museum in this awesome split screen. Yep, but if you think that sounds easy, they've set us a couple of rules. Oh, no. The first of which is in this bag. Oh dear. So I think that's, uh, I think that's yours. Oh, I see. There's a oh, theme here. Oh, yeah. There we go. 60s hippies, I'm thinking. Yeah, yep. we're hippies, that's aren't it. we? Very good. And the other rule is in here. I'm guessing, <laughs> I'm guessing this means no sat-navs. Ah. What is it? What is it? It's, a, it's a map. Oh, it's got pictures. It has, yeah. Let's not rely on my navigational skills. Uh, anyway, we're going to show you guys around this butte very soon, but because it's dark, let's hit the road first. And it's cold. And it's very cool. Let's go. So here's your chance to win this one-of-a-kind 1967 VW 21 window bus. Simply by entering at omaze.com forward slash car throttle or via one of the links in the description below. And again, every donation supports the great cause. Right. Shall we get going? Let's do it. Let's go. Our VW split screen adventure starts in West London, where we'll drive down to Folkestone to jump on the Euro Tunnel before popping up the other side of the channel in Calais. We'll then have a long stretch ahead where we'll end day one at the beautiful Moon Reservoir just past Dartmouth. On day two, we'll double back on ourselves slightly to pay JP Performance a visit and stop for some lunch before heading to my hometown of Bad Pyrmont, before finally completing our journey at the Foundation Volkswagen Museum in Wolfsburg bringing up a total of 653 miles. So, let's get this show on the road. Yes, look at that. Purrs like a kitten. You've got this. We do, we, right. do. we do have this. We're going on an adventure. We are, this is definitely an adventure. <laughs> freezing back here there's a <laughs> there's a draft somewhere <laughs> do you know what i actually really enjoy driving this it's very visceral and i can't believe that someone's going to win one of these yeah that's amazing oh right this is the big one yeah what's happening where are we going m25 oh <laughs> how long are we on here for ethan uh, a while. You don't know, do you? Four blocks Right, so you join us on the Channel Tunnel. Uh, it's basically a tunnel that goes under the ocean. No, it's amazing, honestly. So I think we need to start off on the E40. So that again, plus that. So we've, we've only got, got that far to go. That's not a lot. That's doable, very doable. <laughs> made it to France. It's daylight, we can actually see each other, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. So we look like we just run away from a circus. <laughs> and we can also see the van for the first time properly. So should we have a little walk around? Let's do that. I really like the colour. Yeah, yeah, the colour is yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Strong colour. And we got the split screen, obviously. Yeah. Very iconic. The design of this hasn't changed for millennia. One of those very few cars where you see it and you know exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah just yeah, like yeah. a Mazda MX-5, right? Moving on. Oh, first thing you notice, don't know if you guys notice, but I'm not the tallest person in the world. Have you ever noticed that? No, I have noticed. Yeah. I have noticed. Have I'm not noticed? actually. I'm not actually at all. But I feel like I'm really tall because inside here there isn't a lot of space. So even I am hitting my my knees against the uh, really? against oh, the wow. here. So features, 
<laughs> there is an ashtray there. There is an ashtray. Very oh, good. for that sound. <laughs> oh, yeah. We have uh, a steering wheel. Amazingly, we have a horn. Huh. This is the light switch. Pull out once for wow. normal light and then again for high beam. Really? That's cool. Yeah. And then... <gasps> wow, that is cool. Right. And then we have this button. What's that do? I don't know. It's red. Maybe don't touch That's it. That's a bit of a worry. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no way. Wow. That is amazing. <laughs> so let's get this right, yeah? If you want to clean your windscreen, you have to take both hands off the wheel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and then also, very cool. Oh. oh hello. Hello. Slideys. And then. Oh, poppies. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> poppies and slideys. I think they used to call this a smoking window in the 60s. Oh, did they? Oh, you yeah. just put your hand oh, out. Oh, okay, yeah, nice. Yeah, okay. I feel like the um, the puppet out of uh, the Saw movies. <laughs> what do you think of that? <laughs> you want to play <laughs> We've got a four-speed manual gearbox. Reverse took me ages to figure out. Where is it? I don't know, I've already forgotten. <laughs> I've, this is the first time I've been in the back. It is pretty good me back too. here. Yeah. Oh, we've got some stuff to play with. What is that? Frisbee? Do you want to play a game? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so obviously this is a camper van, so you can sleep in it and van in it. Van in it, yeah. van in it. Yeah. Yeah. The bus that you guys could be in with a chance of winning obviously has more seats, so it means more people, mm. more carrying space, and it's got some awesome features as well, doesn't it? It's got a TV in it. Got a TV? Yeah. Three 12 inch subwoofers. Yeah, subwoofers. It's got, yeah, yeah. Good sound system. It's got panoramic, panoramic roof, roof yeah. as well. We, we have a roof and that it's opens. got a Porsche 914 engine. Yeah, that is cool. Car I don't guy. know what that means, but... Car guy, yeah, <laughs> two litre Porsche 914, and it's been fully restored as well, so it's good to go. Ooh. Mirror on the ceiling. Oh, look at that. You can admire yourself, or admire... When you're sleeping. Yeah. Or <laughs> when you're settling down to sleep. Otherwise known as... Ooh. It's a little gas cooker. Hello. Uh, oh, all pots your, and all, pans. all your utensils. Oh, it's like the camping, camping chairs. Oh, camping chairs. Oh, nice. And we have stuff and things. Is that a big lighter? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That will never run out. Oh. Literature. You've got a bar area here. Yeah. You serve your drinks. Oh, a bar. Very good. To the driver. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really cool. If I'm totally honest, I never really understood the hype about these. But this morning, when I was back here... Sleeping. And just, and, when I was back here riding along, enjoying it, uh, I was just like, I was getting proper vibes about it. And yeah. It's really cool. I do understand. I do understand why people like these so much now. Anyway, we need to crack on, don't we? We've got a long journey ahead of us, and we're kind of travelling at 50 miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get on with it. Belgium. This is amazing. <laughs> How you doing in the back there, Jack? I'm really comfortable, actually. Are <laughs> then? Ah, what would you say? <laughs> it's definitely one of the quirkiest things I've driven. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had to work so hard to get something <laughs> moving in one direction. Okay, so we've just done Antwerp. We're in Zandhoven. Zandhoven. So watching your feet keeping this car alive, like you're tap dancing. <laughs> <laughs> we've nearly done 500 kilometers. Have we? Yeah. <laughs> I think because it's such an event, every mile goes quite quickly. Yeah. I'm absolutely loving it. It's one of those things that you you never think you'll do, but you, you're like, oh, I'll yeah, I'll take it or leave it. And then you do it and you're like, oh, this is why people love them. I totally understand that. So we're crossing over into Germany. What now? Yeah, now. Oh, it? Yes. The motherland. Yes. 
<laughs> Next stop, Munze. Well done, old girl. I can't even speak English anymore. It's been an awesome adventure, but I'm glad to get out of her now. Anyway, there's one more thing to say, isn't there? Yeah, there is. So, um, Jack, we've been telling you today that we're staying in an Airbnb. Yeah. But this is a living with video. We need to live oh, don't. with this camp. <laughs> don't say it. We're, we're, we're actually all going to be in there. We're all getting in there tonight. Genuinely. It's about Genuinely. Two, two degrees. Oh, what have you done? <laughs> On that very chilly note, I think it's time for us to um, bed down. Yeah. Yeah. See you, see you tomorrow if we don't die in the night. <laughs> <laughs> see you guys in the morning. Oh, God, I hate you guys. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm like the meat to the sound. I'm going to get all your want. Mm. Go and get the front door, Ethan. You left it open. Do it cold. <laughs> oh, oh, you've actually got close, it. close the door. Why can't you? Do you want a bear? Do you want a bear right to on, come in? You're wrong. Right you. And you left it open. <laughs> Do you have a bear? <laughs> Okay, reach. Yeah, careful when you put your hands. Stop that. Is he touching you as well? Yes, obviously he is. Why are you trying to make yourself so wide? <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like sleeping next to a barrel. I'm <laughs> just lying. Is it, is it Juggernaut from X-Men? Uh, it's so unbelievably cold. Am I actually awake? I need to shower, big time. Right. After a night here with you two. So it's quite warm at points. I was snuggled the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> I could feel the cold coming through the wall <laughs> on this side. Right? <laughs> We've done it. Right, so it's been a few minutes since you last saw us. We've had coffee. How are we all feeling? I feel better, better after a shower. Yeah? Yeah. I feel horrible. Why are you gotta be so wide? <laughs> <laughs> I do still like it, even after what it put me through last night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's so cool. I think you can live with it. Anyway, let's finish our coffees and then shall we head for JP's? Yeah, that sounds good. And then have yeah. an early lunch? Yeah. Sounds good to me. Everyone in Germany is probably losing their minds right now saying, Oh my god, can't do this going to the JP performance! Right boys, we've made it to Dortmund and JP performance is just a couple of blocks away. Who's excited for a burger? Me. Oh yeah! Right, here we are. JP Performance. I've never been here before. In there is a burger place. I've already spoken to JP. He said that lunch is on him. Oh, oh really? Which is very nice of him. That's very nice. good. Maybe I don't need the doors. <laughs> Very good burger. And now it's Bad Pomont, which is where your family grew up. Yeah, where your mum grew up. Yeah, my mum, my grandmother. Uh, so yeah, going back to my roots. I reckon 50, 100 miles. That's a very rough estimate. <laughs> I'm not really sure. A couple of hours, I reckon.
Right, so we've just filled up with some fuel. Um, the van is happy again, we've got a full tank. Uh, everything's going very smoothly, running really well. And to be fair to this, it is older than me. Can you believe that? No, it isn't. And it's, it's running, it's running better than me as well. We haven't broken down. Sure, it's a little bit spluttery and you've got to learn its ways, but we're here, we're in Germany. I'm super proud of this thing. I'm having so much fun. It is awesome, yeah. How many miles per gallon do you reckon you're getting? Uh, yeah, this is an old original engine and the bus that you guys could be in with a chance of winning has been fully restored and it's a Porsche 914 engine so it's going to be more efficient, it's going to be more powerful and the awesome thing about that bus as well is it doesn't matter where you are, Omaze will ship it to you with taxes free of charge. That's pretty good. So it's another thing. That's really good. That's yeah, banging, Another yeah. thing not to worry about. I reckon we're about an hour away. Yeah. So next stop, Bad Pamont. Onwards, let's crack on. This is, this is your town. The first thing we're going to do is head to my granny's old place and just see what's changed because I haven't been there for 20 years. Wow. Since you were 30. That's a long time. And th that's the last time you were here in this town? Yeah. Most people watching this aren't even 20 years. Yeah. Uh, so true. I vaguely recall the way. Oh, oh. I recognise this. There's a bakery somewhere. Oh, this is this is now weird. I do, ooh. This, yeah, I, re I recognise this now. This, okay, this is weird now. Granny's place is this one here. This Granny's? This, this is Granny's. And she's got a double well, she's dead. She used to have a double <laughs> garage, which is on the left here. Are we stopping? I don't know. Do you want to knock on the door? I just want to have a look. Can I do that? You can do that, yeah. That's my granny's old house. Very interesting. Take a quick pick. Entschuldigung, Sie wohnen hier? Ja. Ah, um, ich, ich heiße Alex Kersten aus England, London. Yeah. Das Haus gehörte meiner Großmutter. What's he doing? What's he doing? Yeah, you know. Maybe they'll let him in? I don't think they're going to let him in. Would you let him in your house? Would you let us in there? Not all of us, no. <laughs> I would let you in there. Do you want to go in there? Do I? Yes, you can go in there. Really? We have a dog, but he doesn't. I have a dog. I tell the guys that I'll come back soon. She's, she's asked me if I want to come in. Really? Yeah. <laughs> This is my granny's old house and Tatiana, the new owner, is kindly showing me around. This is amazing. Hello. Hello. <laughs> ich bin der Alex. Hello. Hello. So they, they used to be... Da war hier ein Wand, oder? Ja, hier war so ein kleiner Windfunk. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And here there was a big grandfather clock. I remember that. And this, yeah. this floor is all new. And that, that was my mum's bedroom. Ah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is getting weird now, actually. And next door was uh, my grandmother's room. And that okay, one? Yeah, I will show you. Omi's bed was there somewhere. Yeah, that was so a niche. Genau, genau. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now it's all open. Yeah, and here was a room, now it's here a bathroom. Oh, a bathroom. We still have the same um, wardrobes that used to be against that wall in London. There used to be a big window here, no? Yeah. Uh -huh. And then uh, there were these big uh, wooden shutters. And then you had to get this big corbel, this big kind of metal thing that you'd put in the wall and then move I like that. Ah, oh, okay. The Christmas tree was always in the, in the corner through there. Very strange, bizarre. Very bizarre. <laughs> Bis dann, mach's gut. Cheers. Danke, danke, genau. danke. Yeah. Und vielen Dank. Gute, ne? Danke, Tour, danke. Ne? Right, so that's a quick tour of my grandmother's old house. Uh, now let's move. Let's move on. That was amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we just rocked up. I just wanted to just look at the house. <laughs> and then the owner shows up. <laughs> and I introduce myself. She says, yeah, I know who you are. Not obviously, because she watches Carpenter. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she bought the house from my mum. Really? Yeah. Because, That's weird. And that was in uh, maybe early 2000, something like that. But the weird thing is, it still smells the same. That's it's crazy. It's bizarre, isn't it? Right. Anyway, I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. Should we get some German sausage? Let's do it. There also <coughs> used to be a brothel. One of these houses used to be a brothel. And how do you know that? Where the brothel owner comes out like, oh, Alex, you haven't been here 20 years. Do you want to come in? 
how are you guys finding the food? It's good. It's yeah. very good. Uh, very yeah. So um, the funny thing is, I used to come here as a child again with my mum. I haven't been here for probably a good 20 years, and the owner still is here. He doesn't own it. He sold it, but he's still here, and he recognised me, which is pretty cool, isn't it? That's cool. So I've ordered the same stuff because I don't like change that I used to order 20 years ago. Shall we crack on and eat, and then to the museum? To the museum. That was a good dinner. That was lush. Yeah. We're going to the VW Museum now. It's the, it's the last I leg. Swear. What is that? No, wrong leg. I swear. I think it's too late. Nah. I'm pretty sure it'll be closed. No one checked this, did they? <laughs> no. <laughs> We've been driving for hours. <laughs> to come here, it's locked. And someone... I'm not taking the blame for this. It's made us an no, hour no, late. I'm not taking the blame for this. Do you know what that means now? What does that mean? Oh my God, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> it means this car park, Jack, <laughs> What are you doing? It's not my fault. It's our overnight resting place. <laughs> oh my God, we've got to sleep in that thing again. <laughs> I'm done. I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh. What time is it? I need to go to the toilet. Don't do it in here. <laughs> <laughs> right, coffee, and then we'll go check out the museum, yeah? All right. At least we'll be the first ones here. True. So we're now in the VW Museum. Very exciting. Jack, you're going to lose your mind in Am here. Am I? Yeah. As a VW fan, you're going to... That is so cool. Whoa. My friend's got one of these. He's got a uh, camper van version of this. This is extremely cool. Pretty badass. This is ah. a VW Carmen Gear. One of these was my mum's first ever car. She had a massive crash on the motorway. Someone rear-ended her. She had double vision for a couple of months. Apparently quite safe. Well, she's still alive. Mm -hmm. I'm here, so you're all welcome. This must weigh nothing. That is amazing. Hot air balloon. <laughs> no. Is it? Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> wow, oh my goodness. Imagine doing a trip in this. That's a boat car. Where? That is a boat car. And look at this Corrado. Oh, it's a VR6 as well. This wow. is one to go for. Scirocco by motor. We have two four cylinder inline fours. Two. Two. Why does it need two? And this will do 180 miles an hour. What? What? I don't know why it needs two. Why don't you just put a V8 in it? Beautiful oh, Passat. That is awesome. This is, this is a bit of me. This, this is a bit. I yeah. do like a estate. Yeah. <laughs> Lamborghini Guinea Chiron. Well, I mean, VW owns everyone, don't they? So, yeah, these were, in Germany, very popular in the 90s. You used to see quite a lot of these. It didn't, it didn't come like that, though. It did. Oh, I always, thought, the they were, I always thought they were Bixers. How amazing is this? Imagine cruising down the autobahn in that. <laughs> XL1. The world's most fuel-efficient car. Is it? Yeah. Well, it was. Don't know if it still is. 0.9 litres per 100 kilometres. The mightiest of mighty golfs. That's really cool. It's just a thing of beauty, isn't it? Wow! What is that? What? My first Sony? Is that a child's like a big... toy? We've done a very whistle-stop tour of the museum. It's absolutely incredible. Anyone who's in Wolfsburg has to come, right? Yeah. Because it really is awesome. It's I only, wish we had more time. It's only euros as well. Is it? Yeah. Let's do one more sweep, take a few pictures, yeah. and then head home. Let's go that way. Let's go that way. Right, it is now the end of a very long trip, and I think that we have proven that, yes, you can live with one of these vintage split screens. We've had fun. It's been practical. We've become closer. We've definitely yeah. become closer. Maybe not in the best way. Anyway, for your chance to win your very own one-of-a-kind 1967 21 window bus, all you guys need to do is enter at omaze.com forward slash car throttle or via one of the links in the description below. And again, every one of your donations supports the work of the Jake Owen Foundation. Good luck. We need to go home, don't we? We've only got 600 miles to go. <laughs> hey. So, yeah, we'll see you next time. Let's go. Shotgun. Shotgun, I've not been in the front the whole trip. <laughs> <laughs>